What's up, guys? It is I, Jake Poop here, with another brand new playthrough. And this time, we're going to replay a game, even though I technically did this in 2021. I'm going to do it again in 2023. It is Luigi's Mansion, or you can see here, Luigi Mansion, without the S. So, yes, um, I am on the Japanese version of the game this time. Uh, specifically because, um... My last playthrough of Luigi's Mansion, I did the PAL Hidden Mansion, which is the European version, and uh, which is English, and other languages of course, but we did it in English. And technically that version is the one with the harder, the harder version of the Hidden Mansion, while the normal mansion is the same as everywhere else. But the NTSC Hidden Mansion, which I refer this to, in the Japanese and American versions, are pretty much the same as the normal mansion with only some tweaks added in there. With some features from the European version, but many of them not. So, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you would know this already. But specifically, I chose the Japanese version because it's, the, it's one that not many people talk about, it seems. And this has to be, uh, quote by some fans, the glitchiest version of the game. And you'll see why later on. But, right now... Um, uh, I'm gonna change a few settings. I'm gonna have all these settings. Uh, but also, one thing in the Japanese version, there's no Pikmin video. So, no Pikmin trailer uh, option at all. They added that in the English versions. So, yeah, the Japanese version didn't have it. Even though Pikmin did came out the same year as this game in 2001 in Japan as well. Uh, obviously at a later date, but I mean, still. Uh, but yeah, um... <coughs> and now let's uh, go now unfortunately for the first part of the game if it's your first time playing it's only through the normal mansion so we're still going to do that and then we're going to do the hidden mansion that's why there's no memory card plugged in to slot A but there will be after we do this so let's go because it's Luigi and you can see now uh, I'm using, because I'm on the Japanese version, I have got a HDMI converter for my GameCube as well. So, meaning, I can record GameCube games with progressive scan mode, which is what this is on. So, 480p I had to set it to, and then I, I was given that option. Uh, even though 480p is not the best resolution um, overall, at 1080p is, obviously, but and 4K even better, but... Uh, setting it on the GameCube is good, because you because 480p still looks good for games, it's just not look good for, like, videos and such, but, anyways, let's go on with the game. And I'm playing this with 4x3 aspect ratio, though it is stretched 16x9 on my TV, I've, I've, I've transformed it on the, um... Uh, OBS to make it uh, 4 by 3 so yeah. So this is all the same. Uh, the buttons are all the same as well, so. So we just gotta wait for the key! The key! Key. And what do we do? We obviously collect it. Yep. And what happens if we open, try and open this? We take damage. Luigi has a different sound effect in the Japanese version as well when he gets hit as well for some reason. And I actually kind of prefer that one than the English one, for, uh, to be honest. Uh, and all that. So... Uh, now, some of the changes are obviously uh, for no reason, but some of them are basically glitchy. And you'll see why there's glitchy things in the Japanese version later on. So, let's go and open the door! <laughs> and we're going to only see this animation once because I'm going to skip it after all that. Because we can skip cutscenes still. Uh, what's in there? So scared! <laughs> So this cutscene is the same, and then... Guy. Crow 
Professor Egad, his name is, or Professor Elvingad. Or in uh, beta versions of the game, he was called Dr. Elvingad, with one D instead of two, oh, yeah. for some reason. But we mostly know him as Professor Professor Egad. Uh, or Elvingad uh, is what the E stands for, but Egad is obviously better, to be honest. And he's still look like he's still cool like a geek in this. Because I'm on the Japanese version, there's no need to read the text. I'm just gonna skip it all by mashing buttons, the atom but buttons. So this is all the same as usual. And then and this we can change the control types a lot. You can still access the um uh Totaka song secret here. I think you can in the Japanese version, but we have no time for that, so I'm not going to in this video. This is all the same. Um, the controls are the same as well. There's no changes. And no, it's not the same as the beta versions of the game. We've got slightly different controls. So, here we go. It's time for ghost sucking. <laughs> Don't take that out of context, please, but okay. Where are you all the same? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, you both get sucked. And it's just you for some reason. And then lots of them. So let's go. Luckily, these ones don't attack you. Oh, one of them disappeared, but it don't matter. Well, we got lots of them, though. That'll do. And we've got... Nine! No music here, notice. Oh, yeah, there is. You can see it's glitchy. And we're given the option to go to the gallery or not. We can just head here. And then we're given the option to go to the mansion or the training room again or the gallery. Uh... But obviously, we're going to go to the mansion, but not just any mansion. We're going to go to the hidden mansion. So I'm going to I'm going to reset my game. Um plug in the memory card. And boom! Now the save files. Uh, so I can in and out. Love it. Even that moves as well. Uh so yeah. We're gonna start off here, so after finishing the normal mansion, you will unlock the hidden mansion, so... We're gonna go there. Where are we going, Luigi? So that's the normal mansion. This one's the hidden mansion. The text will be slightly different. Uh, uh, I believe in English it will be, Be careful, Luigi, for the normal mansion, and don't get scared stiff, Luigi, for the hidden mansion. So... Don't know if the text is different in the Japanese one, but... Well, in terms of translation, but I mean. Uh, so yeah. Here we go. So you can see, there's a star in the corner. And there's Toad. Which obviously lets you save your game. Uh, and lights the whole room up. The whole foyer up. So we're just gonna... Agree to his statements, and then... And then... We're gonna save that game. And then, it's just our... It, oh, oh, I forgot about this. Um, that can fall down. And uh, we can also suck this thing up. For no goddamn reason. Um, go up here. And then we find up here. Um, up here. We shake this. We've got lots of money! Um, so yeah, um, I, f I don't know if the NTSC Hidden Mansion has more money like the PAL Hidden Mansion, but you can tell, it, because the PAL Hidden Mansion, the whole mansion is flipped, so Toad won't be on the left, he'll be on the right. So yeah, that's one difference uh, you'll be able to find in the, but you can also tell Luigi's L is not flipped at all. Uh, so, yeah. 
uh, compared to the PAL hidden mansion, it will be, because obviously it flips your models as well. Uh, so let's go in here. Um, so I think the rooms are darker in the hidden mansion. Because uh, uh, I have heard that uh, the PAL hidden mansions have the rooms darker. And then the NTSC ones have the opposite for the normal and hidden mansion, so meaning it would be the normal will be darker and then the hidden will be lighter, but I don't think that's true because it seems very dark here. So I doubt that's not true at all. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna... And then, we're gonna uh, make the candles light off. For similar reasons. Ew, put the candles here. Yeah, I think he says that. Or something. Because I know what one of them says. Um, it's this one. Just like the little red cap before you, it's what he normally says. And then. The other difference we'll find here is that in the NTSC hidden mansion. So we have a gold ghost here. Yeah, our, our poltergust is powerful than before. You can see there's a gold ghost there. Now in the PAL hidden mansion, you'll have other ghosts appear here as well. So not just a gold ghost, but you'll have like uh, the harder ghosts that appear normally later in the game. Uh, they'll appear earlier and all that. So you can uh, open the chest. For a key! You got the key! And then they just give you hints on what door it is, and obviously it's this one. Oh, first, is there any money in this? Yes, there is! Ho, ho, ho! Really good! And then here. And then here, we're in this room. I think it's the enter room, I think it's called. You can see we're sucking more HP than before. And then we have a purple puncher, or pink puncher. It's weird because uh, I'm, I'm used to calling them purple punchers, even though they're pink, but alright. I'm just calling them purple punchers, despite the fact that they're pink. Oh crap. Hello, gold ghost! Oh, you get sucked! Oh boy! And there's nothing in there. Oh, and I'm not putting up. Oh yes! Oh yes! I don't know why I'm being Churchill the dog, but okay. Uh, now let's go in this room. Uh, which is the wardrobe room. And we should have ghost appear. Now, I think in the Palhinna Mansion, you don't get any ghost appearing until you open one of the wardrobes. I think it's this one. Uh, so... Okay. Then, we have a car garbage can ghost, which you don't see until later in the game for the Paladin Mansion. Uh... Oh, crap. Oh, boy! <laughs> okay. Any more ghosts appearing? Because I know the a normal ghost appears in that one. That's good, because we can activate a secret ghost. Uh, which you go in this one, or in the pallet I mentioned, you'll go to the uh, left one. Um, uh, so, we go up here. We have a speedy spirit, and I've got him on first try! Uh, so, and it gives us the same as before. But in the Pal Hidden Mansion, you will get something special, which we'll look at later. Uh, for killing these. Uh, so... And every speedy spirit does that. There's an, there's some there's some, there's another ghost that does similar things as well. Uh, we'll get to that later as well. And then there's a gold ghost in there. I think in the Palmer Mansion you'll get a harder ghost in there. Oh, and get the down key. You got the key. And then, uh, if we don't knock on the wardrobe and we go to this door, to find a crying toad! Apparently there's lots of toads here. 
So, we got uh, this out of the way, so now let's go this way. Uh, don't. In fact, there's something else we can do. In fact, is there anything in this? No. Um, we, uh, with the mirror, if we press the X button, you can have this camera mode. If you attack the mirror, this crazy effect happens, and you get warped all the way back to the foyer. So this is kind of useful if you want to backtrack. There is one room in the game where you would have to do that because it's your only way out as well. So, all right, here we go. Now, Professor Egan is going to talk to us now. Which I don't care about reading Japanese, so I'm just going to go this way and skip that animation. And this will lead us to a trap door, so do not open that. You can tell which ones are trap doors or not because the trap doors don't shake. And whoa, hello, mice. Um, I think you'll have mice appear in the answer room in the Pal Hidden Mansion. Uh, so now in this room. We have a book that I took damage from. Okay, that book is gone now. So, there's another speedy spirit here. You go to this, uh, you go to this, uh, seat here. And there he is! And this one gave us a ruby. That is a ruby. And that ghost there will meet in a moment. So, um... Okay, we'll look at this ghost in a moment. Uh, but there's something else in this room before heading off. Well, obviously, if we get the books, we can get some cash. Uh, so, uh, but over this side, there's cheese. And when you use the camera, detect it, you get a gold mice. Whoa! What the hell's happened there? And then gold mice also give you uh, special items. Uh, so they're kind of like a mice version of the Speedy Spirit. And, and this one gave us an emerald. Uh, so uh, that one's cool. And then we're just going to get this money and then we're going to fight this, uh, what they're called portrait ghosts. So this one is Neville, the bookish father. Uh, so uh, we're going to uh, wait for him to yawn and then suck him up! <laughs> Uh, and you can see our Pontagos is more powerful, so we're, we've got him in seconds. Uh, and all that. So, yeah, that is really cool. Uh, I think there's something else in this, is there? Uh, just some coins, okay. And then... You got the key! And, and then, um... Let's now go this way. Uh, there is one other difference that I forgot to mention, but we'll mention it when we get our next portrait ghost, because uh, uh, the next portrait ghost is in here. Uh, so... Oh, we've got a gold bar here. I kind of forgot about gold bars. We have here, we have Lydia. Uh, the, something uh, the something mother, I forgot. Uh, but uh, Now, in order to get her... What you need to do, aside from getting stealing her money from uh, from her desk and all that, and getting rid of the bedding so uh, so they can no longer sleep, uh, what we need to do is we need to open the curtains for this toad to be a pervert. Oh no, just kidding. <laughs> okay, and so that way the heart is exposed, so then you can suck her up. Whoa, we're so fast! You can tell Potagost is so powerful. Uh, so one difference in the Japanese version when you're sucking up portrait ghosts is that, uh, as you know in the international versions, uh, a different piece of music plays. But in the Japanese version it doesn't play at all, I don't think it's even present. So, instead it uses the same music when you suck normal ghosts. Uh, so yeah, that's one difference. Um, and that's to every portrait ghost. There's even some other music that's not in the Japanese version at all. And sometimes they are, but don't play in sections where they would normally do in the international versions. If we shake this multiple times, we get some money! Who would hide money inside that fan helicopter chopper thing? I don't know. And then there's a baby. And now, 
a baby was crying. So now we're in the nursery, it seems like. And then we get a massive heart. You always get a massive heart from there. But in the Pal Hidden Mansion, you get a smaller heart. And so we have this baby named Chauncey, the spoiled baby. So, and then, uh, what if we shake that? Nothing. Uh, can we shake this? No, uh, there's nothing in there. We need to shake the rocking horse. So then, wakes up, the door closes, and then, want to play? And the vacuum works like that, wow! And then we need to hit him! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> the ball's uh, floating in midair, wow. And then he's going to talk some random BS at us, and then we get the first kind of boss battle, sort of. Unless you count Portrait Ghost as boss fights as well, but, but for actual boss fights, this is the first one. So you have rocking horses everywhere. And there's Chauncey himself. He's going to get his rattle out. So the other difference in the Pal Hidden Mansion is that... So you have these rocking horses here. They're the same as the normal mansion here. But in the Pal Hidden Mansion, they'll be bigger. And instead of going straight forward, they'll go swaying on by. So harder to dodge, especially the lighter ones when they get faster and all that. So then we need to get this ball. And then we need to hit him again. And then... Whoa! 44! Whoa! That's not the amount you normally suck, but okay. And then when he bounces, the slower here, but in the Pal Hidden Mansion, it'll be faster. And then he'll bring out his rocking horses again, which are going faster. Whoa! Okay. And then they're going to go here, which are... Harder to dodge in the Pal 1, but easy to dodge here. You can just stand in the middle. Um, okay. Oh crap, seriously. One, two, three. Ooh! And then... Lovely! Ah, oh, I couldn't do a glitch, but... The other difference there, when you finish a boss battle, the the music, the the fanfare is slightly different in the Japanese version. Uh, the drums play uh, slightly different and all that, but yeah, you get it hard from here. Yeah, uh, uh, you can do a glitch where you can go to another room early, but it's sad that I can't do that. And we got the key. And the professor E Gun is talking to us. <laughs> oh boy. That was good. And then we have the Poltrificationizer, or whatever it's called. To put the portrait ghosts in there. And then. You put your ghosts to turn into pictures, never to come out again. And then you get these images. So yeah, now the frame and picture depends on how well you suck these ghosts. Uh, so um. So here we've got a gold for Neville, a gold for Lydia, and then a gold for Chauncey. So for normal portrait ghosts, um, the way this works is that uh, bronze is gotten whenever, I think it's sucking 10 HP in a single suction each time. Uh, a silver one is when you get uh, 50 HP in a single suck, and then, and then gold is when you get 90 from a single suck. So pretty much trying to kill the ghost in one go, in one suck, and no re-attempts. 
Um, it works differently for bosses, though. I don't know how it works. Uh, surprisingly, I've got a gold for Chauncey here. Because normally, I get a gold in the normal mansion one, but then a, uh, like, either a silver or bronze in the uh, normal one, in uh, the hidden ma uh, the hidden one. Uh, so, yeah, I'm surprised I've got a gold for all of them here. And then, we have some money. And then the total. Uh, the, the yellow down there is the total I've got previously. I just used cheats to get that. I don't know if that's the maximum I can get for the Japanese version or not, because I managed to get 999999999 G in my PAL one, but okay. So then we can save the game to go to Area 2, which is like the later half of the game. So... And you know what? I, um... Even though I was gonna, I'm gonna basically do most of Area Two in the next video. I'm gonna do the first half of it in this video uh, to make the video slightly longer. So first, we can go to this door now. And then, is there anything in here? No. Can we get something from here? Oh, a heart! Something's going on. So then we can open this door, and then. Here we can get things. Um, now I believe. Oh crap! Um, we could go this way to go to a room, and this room right there is where you would normally glitch into to from Chauncey's room, but uh, I couldn't do it, so it doesn't matter now. Uh, we can go up here as well. Um, so this is pretty much a long hallway. So if we go in this door specifically, uh, you get this text, which translates to um, occupied. So then I think we go in here to this bathroom. And we open the curtains. No one's in there. We get these grabbing ghosts. Uh, these ones, when they grab you, they don't damage you. But if you get red ones, they will damage you. And then blue ones are invisible. And you get purple ones there as well, which is something different. And then, I'm gonna get a message from Professor E. Gat. We're gonna get that key! And do we get anything from here? A heart! From the sink! Uh, okay. Um, some love in the sink. <laughs> okay. Um. Not this way. And then you have these, uh. You have these ghosts. Uh. I forgot what they're called, but. The ceiling ghosts or something. And then we have the purple bombers, which are similar, but they drop bombs as well. Now let's go this door. This is where we're gonna go. And then we're in the ballroom. And we have these shy guy ghosts. And yeah, yeah. The other difference is that in the Japanese version. There's no music that plays in this room whatsoever, unlike international versions where they added music. And this music never plays somewhere else in the game, it's only this part. But it's not in the Japanese version. Uh, uh, and the reason there's a lot of things missing in the Japanese version in the first place, is because they had to rush this. For the Japanese release of the GameCube. So, that is why a lot of things are missing in the Japanese release. Because they had to rush it for the Japanese release of the game on GameCube uh, for September 14th, 2001. So only three days after 9-11, surprisingly. Um, in America, of course, but... And then here, we have another portrait ghost. We have the fro floating whirlwinders. The way we get them, we need to spin on this, like we're ballet dancing. Um... Uh, so all we gotta do is just uh, literally plagiarize Ed Sheeran's own Thinking Out Loud music video, and then we're gonna suck them up. And then they both die. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go into this treasure chest to get the key. You got the key. <laughs> uh, is there anything in these? in that one. What about this one? Ah, oh, lovely. We got the heart. 
And then here, this chair has a speedy spirit. And we got it on first try. And there's another purple puncher. And then we're going to just uh, get the coins. We have a grabber ghost, which is red this time. So it will damage us. And it has 20 HP as well. Uh, anything in this? Heart. Oh! Okay. Nice. Now the room's lit up. Oh, wow. We got something from the bucket. Uh, and instead of kicking the bucket, you knock the bucket or hump the bucket? <laughs> okay. Um, so now it's on the mirror. We have this button. Let's press it. And then something happens. And then we're going to go to this picture. We're going to suck that up. And then we're going to press that that button here. For something to happen. <laughs> Lots of booze! Yes! And how many booze is it? 50! Including the special King Boo! So that's 51 in total. And then Professor E. Gann is going to call us on the Game Boy Horror, which is the equivalent to the Game Boy Color. Even though I swear the Game Boy Advance existed when this game came out in 2001, but okay. Um, and the GBA was definitely first, then the GameCube, but okay. And then he's going to give us some information about the booze and all that. And so... Um, I'm going to end things off here then, guys. So, next time on Luigi's Mansion, we will uh, uh, tackle on the rest of the NTSC Hidden Mansion. Uh, and, and we're going to start off by getting some booze, because we need to get some booze in order to continue. And we need at least 40 booze in the NTSC version, or 45 booze in the PAL version, in order to actually finish the game. There's 50 boos in total, not counting King Boo, because obviously King Boo's the final boss, but yeah. So we're going to end things off here then. So it is I, Jay Poop, and I, uh, out, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!